Hey guys, my name is Nathan Rogers and I'm responsible for a large part of the fish smoking we do here at the Pelican and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about two varieties of cold smoked fish that we make here that I am just super proud of and I have a hankering to share. So what I got right in front of me right here is a cold smoked piece of Atlantic salmon. Now the Atlantic salmon we use at the Pelican is a sashimi grade salmon and we don't do a whole lot to the cold smoke. We don't really want to mask any of those great flavors that the fish has itself. We just want to enhance them. So what we do is we add a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar and a lot more time than any of those. And then after about four or five days of curing and drying, I stick this in the smoker for a couple hours and out comes this beautiful, silky, oily, just absolutely succulent piece of cold smoked salmon. And uh, Something like this right here, we make easily about 120 to 160 pounds of this a week. And we're doing this about two to three times a week. So uh, honestly, if you're looking for something that's gonna go great between bagels or on rye bread, this is the stuff right here. Now, what I have to, right here is a piece of cold smoked steelhead trout. So a lot of the same characteristics we're gonna see with the uh, Atlantic salmon but a couple differences. Now it's a little leaner as a product, so what we find is that the smoke that we're gonna, put, we're gonna put on this is gonna come out in the flavor a little bit more, and because it's a little less fatty, we're also gonna notice a little bit more meaty flavor. So this is great, I find, this is more of like a canapé sized style of fish, it's great for like a fish cootery board or, or some hors d'oeuvres, or, you know, honestly, one of my favorites is to use this guy instead of ham on a Eggs Benedict. Oh, this right here is going to change a lot of people's lives when they start trying it on Eggs Benedict. I'm telling you that. Now, one of the ways that you see, you see cold smoked salmon and cold smoked trout paper thin all the time. And now, the key to that is having a blade that's pretty flexy. As you can see here, I'm, I'm flexing this blade. Whew almost 45 right there. And that's because we want something that's thin, that's gonna go through this with almost minimal interaction with the other pieces. And that's, and that's gonna be super important to getting those velvety thin, almost you know, see-through gossamer-like pieces of cold smoked salmon. So something that a lot of people are familiar with in their cold smoked salmon is finding it oftentimes in the frozen section of your grocery store delicatessen. Now something that we do here is that ours is never frozen, ours is always fresh, and the product sort of reflects that. And when you, when you bite into something like this, a never frozen uh, piece of cold smoked salmon, you're gonna notice a textural difference that is just out of this world. It's a little chewier, but it's also got a little more resistance. And something like that's really gonna give you a more in your sandwich or more on top of your canopy, more substance, more, just more going on. And uh, I think that's really important for something that most people are often overlooking in their, in their cold smoked salmon.